everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagham! When a student goes to school, he should be able to cover a certain distance. Maliban don, he is also said to cover his displacement with respect to his original position or his home which is usually taken as a reference point. Ano nga bang pinagkaiba ng distance and displacement? We are going to talk about it in our Shensh Amazing video for today. Distance is the length of the path covered. If this is a boy and he is going to school, the entire path that he walked is the distance he covered. Distance is said to be a scalar quantity. Anong ibig sabihin ng scalar quantity? It means a measurement only has a magnitude but with no direction. For example, 30 meters. What about displacement? Ang displacement ay ang shortest distance between the initial and final position. The displacement is said to be a vector quantity. Why? Kasi meron siyang magnitude and direction. The displacement is the shortest distance from the initial position to the final position. For example, ang distance na ito ay 10 meters. Yan ang magnitude. But we still need to find the direction. We can find the direction by using a compass. Kung ang school ay nandito, in the compass, we can see that it is located in the southeast. In addition to its direction in the compass, kailangan natin ng more specific na direction. So we also need to find the angle by using a protractor. Makikita natin na ang angle ay 30 degrees. Since this is covered under grade 7 science, hindi lang muna tayo gagamit ng trigonometric functions. Instead, let's practice using the protractor first. In our advanced videos about science, we will be discussing more on the trigonometric functions in physics problems. To summarize, the displacement of the boy from his house to his school, we have 10 meters, 30 degrees to the southeast. Or you can also write it this way, 10 meters, 30 degrees south of east. This time, let's try to answer a sample problem. A person walks 4 meters east, then walks 3 meters north. Determine distance and displacement. Finding the distance is simple. We simply add them. 4 plus 3 equals 7. We have 7 meters. Tapos na tayo sa distance. We will now be solving for the displacement. We will be teaching you how to do it step by step. Remember, the person walked 4 meters to the east, then 3 meters north. The displacement is the shortest distance from point 1 to point 2. So it is represented by the broken lines. This looks familiar, right? It is a right triangle. And to find the third side of a right triangle, we use the Pythagorean theorem. C squared equals the sum of A squared and B squared. Where C is the hypotenuse of the triangle, which is also represented by the broken lines and the displacement that we are looking for. A and B represents the legs and they can be interchanged. To find the value of C, we just find the square root of A squared plus B squared. Then we substitute the values. A is equal to 4 and B is equal to 3. C equals the square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared. 4 squared is equal to 16 and 3 squared is equal to 9. Then we add them, and we find the square root of 25, which is 5. We already have the magnitude of the displacement. Since we are talking about displacement, we still need to find the direction. We will be using a compass. From the compass, 
we can see that the final point is located in the northeast. But to be more specific, we also need to find the angle by using a protractor. The angle is approximately 36 degrees. Now we both have the distance and the magnitude and direction of the displacement which is 5 meters 36 degrees northeast or north of east. Before we have a short quiz, let's have a quick recap first. In this Shansh Amazing video, we talk about distance and displacement, concepts of distance and displacement, finding the distance and displacement, and we answered a sample problem. It's good time! To check if you really learned something from our video, we will be answering a problem about distance and displacement. I will give you enough time, 3 minutes, to answer this problem. After 3 minutes, we will check your answer. Time's up, let's check if your answers are correct. A runner travels around a rectangle track with length 50 meters and width 20 meters. He travels around the rectangle track two times then runs back to the starting point. Determine distance and displacement. In the problem, we can see that the given values are 50 meters, which is the length, and 20 meters, which is the width. And we also have to take note that the runner travels two times then runs back to the starting point. If this is the rectangle track, we need to find the perimeter in order to find the distance traveled. The formula to find the perimeter is 2L plus 2W, in which L is length and width is W. Then we substitute the values 
2 times 50 plus 2 times 20 and the perimeter is 140 meters. Take note, the runner runs around 2 times. So, we will multiply the perimeter twice para mahanap natin ang distance which is 280 meters. Meron na tayong distance. Let's proceed to the displacement. To find the displacement, we find the shortest distance between the final point and the initial point. What is the final point? The final point is the starting point. What is the initial point? The initial point is also the starting point. So the values are 0. When we subtract 2, 0, the answer is also 0, making our displacement 0 meters. We want to know if you got this problem right. Please comment easy if this problem was easy for you. That ends our Shensha Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!